And Jack Hanna joins us now from Montana. He is director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and has spent time on that very animal reserve that Cecil appears to have been lured from in Africa. Uh, Mr. Hanna, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I got I to gotta ask you, what was your reaction when you first heard the news about Cecil? Well, you can imagine working with animals for almost 40 years now. Actually, my wife and I danced to Warren Free in 1968 when we were married. So and we've raised lions, by the way. The thing is, people have to understand something. In 1947, when I was born, there were about 450,000 lions. In the mid-70s, when my kids were born, there were about 100,000. Today, there are less than 30,000. And I went to film there first in the late 70s, early 80s. There were lions everywhere. But now today, obviously, their numbers have dropped. And uh, that's a serious thing. So as far as what happened, you know, it, real quickly, there are about four things here. You know, I wasn't there. You weren't there. Yeah. Number one, this animal was habituated. What does that mean? Habituated means, and by the way, I filmed the exact same place in 2011. So habituated means the researchers study the animals every day from a distance. That animal knows that. That lion knew that for 15 years or so, right? So when you go up to this animal, you don't get out of your car because it would it would consume you. But being habituated means they sit there. So that's number one. It's a habituated animal, which means it's not tame. It's just it's there, right. like a cow sitting in a field. There are, that's number one. Number two is then all of a sudden you you go there and you drag a carcass across from the protected side over to the hunting side, and that was proven that they drugged the carcass for the animal to be drugged over into that area where he could be hunted by a bow and arrow. Now, that someone said that the man might not have seen the collar on the lion. Well, if that was a rifle, maybe that's true, but I, I was there when they were collaring the lions, by the way, so therefore you could see that collar if it's a bow and arrow. So there's another item right there. So you can imagine already, some people said they didn't have the right permits. Well, that could be or not be. So there's so much stacked against him, plus one illegal thing he'd already done, and obviously, you know, there are, by the way, I'm not, I'm, I'm not an anti-hunter. I'm not a hunter but you know as far as conservation the dollars that go into this i'm not talking about trophy hunting right now i'm talking about yeah. hunting in general throughout the world uh millions trillions of dollars goes into it to help protect animals as well so this whole thing as you said is a very difficult situation but right now i think if you have lions that as far as hunting lions in zimbabwe that's one place we all know the country zimbabwe the, the issues they have right now are yeah. beyond abominable so, so, but, but, so let, let me so ask right you now, about uh, let me just ask you about Dr. Palmer. I mean, you've outlined it clearly, in your view, he did something very wrong here and had to know he was doing something wrong. Uh, Zimbabwe's asked for him to be extradited. What, what, what do you think should happen to him? Well, let's, let's put it this way. Several years ago, I don't know the exact year, you could look it up, a gentleman was in Yellowstone and took an elk, took an elk, took the animal, killed the animal, put him back in the pickup. He got very hefty fines as well as my understanding is, as yesterday, 40 or so years in prison. That was because of an elk in our own country in Yellowstone National Park. And there have been several other instances like, like that as well. So what should happen is, I don't, as far as extraditing him to Zimbabwe, if you know much about Zimbabwe, yeah, yeah, no, that's it, probably not some place. But you think he should right. be punished? Do you think that, that's that, not that, some, that, that, this, uh, that Dr. Yeah, Sam could go to yes. jail for this? Yeah, I think every good hunter would agree that something has to happen here. And, he, so, and the doctor must know himself something has to happen here because that's not what good hunters do by any means. So the point is, yes, something has to be an issue here because that is totally inaccurate. In other words, what he says, he didn't know anything. He could not. He had to know some of these four points I just pointed out. You, you just can't drag a carcass over there, an animal yeah. from one protected side to another, and shoot him like they're like a cow. Okay, and then just, we're, all, we're just about out of time very quickly. Do you think it's time, I know you're not anti-hunter, is it time to put an end to this kind of trophy hunting, though? I think issues have to be looked at, yes. I'm not saying an end to everything. I'm saying an end to predator-prey relationships is what our good Lord put on the planet here. The predator relationship to prey is messed up in a lot of places, so you have to work on that. However, I think this has, issue has to be looked at immediately, considering the loss of the lions to 30,000 now. We've got yeah. to take some of these animals that might not be plentiful somewhere and replace, put these animals in other areas where they need these animals. All right. Thank you very much, Jack.